Howdy, howdy guys. It is oily slick this morning. The sun is rising. It's looking good. Very excited. Been out a few days with Talia, getting out diving and stuff. But today I'm really excited because I'm heading out with the boys diving and uh, getting amongst it out at that island again. So really excited to get out there, see what fish are around. Haven't dove it like this. Keen. Okay, we're out here now. It's a pretty beautiful day. I'm pretty stoked to be out here. Still pretty uh, slick water and then pretty, pretty blue. It's about 20 meters, milky, but blue. cool so far jumped in and uh, spotted a mackerel uh, which is like you know my, my dream to get on this trip I've never got one somehow I've just you know missed a lot of opportunities we'll see you never know you never know otherwise we've just seen parrots and uh, stuff like that we we're trying to find spots and the boys reckon they found a good nice ledge and uh, spot so we'll have a jump in see what's around Um, sometimes they're a bit cagey and hard to get close to, but when you do get a shot on one, it's nice because they taste really good. I had one the other night, they're really like chunky meat and um, yeah, quite sweet and good. Beautiful colours on it. Such a cool fish to see. We don't get you know as much fish diversity in Sydney, so it's, it's cool to see these. And uh, in terms of parrots, you know, plentiful, so there's plenty of them to, to munch on the reef up here. It'll cook up good. Now we're just having to swim around, jumping around at different spots and just trying to find little spots because, I mean, I haven't dove around here, so I don't have spots or marks to dive on. And up here, that's kind of more important because you're just out in the blue. So today it's about just driving around, sounding around, trying to pick up those good little spots, mark them and dive them. But finally, I did spot a patch of reef to jump in on. Where's the mark? So we got the boat timed up for a drift and we dropped down onto the shell of fish. And what I found was this cave right here. As I got closer, I noticed some good fish life there, notably a school of mangrove jack. And this could be my first, so the heart was hopping along. Picked out the biggest one and he turned just as I shot. I retake. Using some drift current techniques, I drop right back on the spot in hope they'll still be there. That's the mangrove jack cherry pop. Thanks, man. You! Epic. <laughs> this 
So stoked, this is my first mangrove jack and a uh, good one at that, I'm really happy. I dove down, it was a bit of a deeper spot and I saw this mad ledge and as I was diving down I saw a big school of them, managed to pick out the biggest one, got broadside, took a nice shot, managed to pull him away from the reef and I got myself mangrove jack. Man, yeah, frothing. I am so stoked on that mangrove jack. I had it once when a friend caught one and it is one of the best fish I've ever had. Top three easily, top two possibly. I guess we'll see later on. Yeah, man, it looks so lucky and good. Just seen a blue swimmer swimming along on the surface. <laughs> oh, I think he got it. Oh, I got it! <laughs> That's Steve Irwin on him. Yeah, he's a bit undersized, mate. <laughs> yeah. A bit small. Fuck, though. That's awesome. Okay, Pelagics now. We're looking for mackerel, something like that. Here's Brennan here on first drop at the spot. Just nicked him. He'll definitely swim on. After a few similar mishaps, Brandon noticed he was shooting high all day. Just don't do that. Check your gear before you go out on a bigger trip like this. Uh, you should be just north of it. Yeah, just there. Just there. Another spot. Brandon jumped in real quick here with the flasher. Ready for another chance of retribution with a readjusted aim. Good. Not bad. What happened? I was come straight in on the flasher. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, circling around down there. Probably about 12 metres down. Cool. Any more down there? Yeah, there was a bit of a with him. Sick. Good growth. I'm having a go at him too. <laughs> cool. Get me one of them. By one of them, I mean this beautiful, toothy, narrow barred Spanish mackerel. One day, I'm patient, but I'm ready. All right, it's uh, been pretty cool so far. Man, it's so hot right now. In the boat, we're cooking. Even in the water, we're cooking. Like, you can just feel yourself on the surface and your back is cooking. Our hands are getting all pruney. We've been diving hard and a lot. It's that time of the day where, you know, we're fighting, uh, fighting to be boaty a little bit. So we're starting to head closer to land and just make our way back in, see what we can pick up on the way back. All right, it's been a cool day, back into the bay a bit more now. Uh, just reminiscing a little bit. Yeah, got some, like, bit of fish diversity today. Yeah, not bad. No. All right. Cool, we're a bit uh, pruned, sun-kissed and tired, so we're gonna head in. And if I cook up the mangrove jack in a nice way, because I love that fish, which I probably am, You'll see that too. Okay, back at the joint now. Today was cool. Got my mangrove jack here. Man, uh, that's my first mangrove jack and obviously a PB. I am frothing and it's like my favorite fish to eat. So I hope it still uh, lives up to that. Look at the fillet job on that. Looks so good. Um, got it all cubed up there. Now what I'm doing is a bit different today. It's a good meal if you want something in a hurry, curry in a hurry, is um, get some chips that you like and uh, put some cubes of fish into some egg. Then uh, you crush the chips up, you mix it in with the chips. Bob's your uncle, you got that flavor. So the flavor that we went with today is chili, roast garlic, lemon oil. Sounds perfect. <laughs> come on, come on. Um, so let's just do that real quick. Crunch all the chips up. Sorry. You want to just crunch all the chips up. Really fine. Kneading it. So basically how it goes is you get, you get the cube. Smaller the better, more flavor. You put it in the egg, 
Can you see me doing that? Yeah, you can. Now it's all eggy. It's going to stick to the flavoured chips. Then you put it in the fish bag. Sorry, the chip bag. Straight in. Now I'm just going to get all the fish, put in the egg, put in the chip bag, and then just wait and see. You want to do this? Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bring it. Okay, if you've done it right, you'll pull out a piece looking like this. It's covered in it. Alright, might look a bit funny, but man, give it a go. I'm sure there's plenty of other chip flavors that you can try as well as this one. So yeah, cool one. Nearly ready. Uh, I said these are like up there with my favorite fish. So I guess I should say the top three fish that I've tried. Uh, I, to be honest, they've been mangrove jack, black spot tusk fish, and coral trout. They're just the kind of sweetest and juiciest that I've had. Sweet and juicy. Um, but we'll see. I want to see. This maybe takes number one. <laughs> Have a go at that. Oh, man. Okay, nothing on this. Just the chips. That is it. And egg to make it stick more. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, how? Every time. The mangrove jack tastes the same. I only have had it once before, but so juicy. So juicy. It's like... A juicy chicken nugget. Anyway, now onto the uh, the chips. The chips on it. It tastes so good. The garlic and chili, you can fully taste it. It's just from chips. With this moist, juicy fish, it's like honestly like the best chicken nugget you've ever had, but we're using fish, corn I bought. Um, and the eggs, by the way, they were from the chickens that we have in the backyard, so corn I bought. That's the best tasting fish I've had in at least six months. I'm honestly, oh, it's so hard when it gets to the this is premier fish right here. When it gets to these premier fish, it's so hard to tell the difference between what is better, between Tusky, Mangrove Jack, and Coral Trout for me. If, if you have a preference between those three, do say it. Only say if you've tried them all though. Come on, be fair. I could sit here and just keep eating it, so I better stop, because uh, me and Tyler are gonna drizzle some lemon on here and just absolutely enjoy this premier fish. How good was today? Man, seeing new things and uh, catching new fish. Gotta love this stuff, hey. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like this video and ring the bell if you wanna see it straight away. It honestly looks like you bought that from KFC. Yeah, so true. These look like KFC chicken like, nuggets. It looks like some sort of... This actually is from KFC. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. You gotta try this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, pick one, anyone, all that. No, this one. <laughs> Smell is ridiculous. Yeah, go it. <laughs> Pretty good. Best fish you've ever had. Is that actually just chips? Just chips and the fish. This is this is naughty. This is extremely naughty right now.